about uh, pensions now, private pensions. They have uh, grown from strength to strength over the last five years. Average South African private pensions payouts increased by 15.2% in real terms between January 2013 and February 2018. Shregrin Naidu, who's the head of stakeholder engagement at Bank Serve, joins us now for more. Thanks so much for your time. I mean, Thank the kind of growth you're talking about, this, this is a good thing, right? Oh, yes, it's a very good thing. It's, uh, so the numbers that we're looking at are over the five-year horizon from 2013 to 2018. And you're looking at an expansion of approximately 50% mm. in nominal terms, 50.1% in nominal terms, and comes down to that 15.2% as you mentioned. And it's, it, all it can reflect is that the markets are doing well and that our pensioners are also doing well, uh, relatively speaking, of course. Okay, so just, you just um, help us understand. So when we're talking about private pensions specifically, average private pensions, what, what are we referring to? Okay, so your private pension is any pension that you and I would be contributing to, so we would be contributing to a private pension. Mm -hmm. um, it excludes your social grants. So the numbers for social grants, but the SASA grants are not included in these figures at all. It's really just your pension funds as you and I are familiar with. Mm. So you're saying that, I mean, this kind of growth that we are looking at, the guys who are, uh, whose job it is to manage pensions are essentially doing a good job? Oh, yes. I reckon they're doing a very good job. Um, you're looking at... There's, there's a number of factors that you could probably uh, use to, to try and gauge what, what could have uh, uh, resulted in this. Uh, the performance of the markets. Mm. For instance, the old shares are sitting at 56,000 uh, currently. Um, I still remember when 13 years ago it was about approximately 22,000. Mm. So you can see that there's an upward trajectory there. Um, the way that um, currently we're in a, a very good um, benign interest rate, uh, um, it's positive uh, for the, for the uh, consumer. Um, inflation is low. Inflation is sitting at, at below 4%, at, at, at 4%, thereabouts. Mm -hmm. So all of these factors, um, you, you, you can actually gauge that the market is, uh, that the performance is, is positive and that the pension funds are actually doing well. So you say that the typical pensioner receives around 4,870 rand a month. Is this including social grants or...? So that actually can include social grants. You're looking, so there's a number of, of bands that we, we looked at. We looked at pensioners receiving below 4,000, and then we looked at a band between 4,000 and 10,000, and then 10,000 and, and 25,000, and so forth. The below for the, the, the threshold to receive a social grant is in the region of approximately 7,000 Rand per month. Mm. So if you're below that, you would be eligible to receive a social grant. Mm -hmm. So these pensioners, it's our hypothesis that these pensioners are actually also able to subsidize their income with the social grant as well. Mm -hmm. You know, Shagran, it's very interesting what you say about um, the growth that we have seen in, in, in private pensions over the f past five years, particularly in reference to what the markets have done, because, I mean, the markets in that time period are even less. I mean, the JC has been relatively flat. True, um, but remember, this is... The, the pension funds are, are not just gauged only on the equities markets. I mean, mm. they, they, you're looking at a whole different host of, of, of investments and so forth. Cash also being one of the considerations. Mm. And given that the, the, the way that cash is actually performing right now relative to with the, uh, the interest rates being higher than inflation, mm -hmm. you're going to find that the uh, pensioner is actually going to score from that arbitrage. And funnily enough, the Bank of Africa also does a, a take-home pay index as well. Sure. And uh, the movement, the upward trajectory of uh, pension funds index vis-a-vis -vis the uh, take-home pay index um, in 2013 was approximately 43%. Mm -hmm. um, so the pension was taking approximately 43% of what of the average take-home pay. Um, in February 2018, it was now sitting at 48.9%. So almost close to 50% of, of take-home pay. Sure. Shregren, we will have to leave it there. It's Thank you so much for uh, putting the spotlight on the state of the uh, pensioner there. We do know pension fund growth uh, growing at a much bigger uh, rate than wages, which is a little bit sad for those of us who are working. But nonetheless, that was Shregren Naidu, who's the head of stakeholder engagement at Bank Serve Africa. And